When I set up the Death Cafe website in 2012, I was amazed by the way people responded. It seemed like it's very common to want to talk about death. The Death Cafe has four main principles. Um, they're done on a not-for-profit basis. We don't lead people to any product, conclusion or course of action. We don't have any answers uh, and we're not proposing any solutions. We're very respectful of different beliefs and opinions. And fourthly, there's always tea and cake. People tend to give really positive feedback about coming to a deaf cafe. They tend to enjoy it and rate um, the experience very highly. It feels kind of a bit naughty because we don't often talk about death and dying. It's got a bit of an atmosphere like a midnight feast or something. So it's slightly transgressive. But then because people haven't necessarily had the opportunity to talk about death that much, a lot of what they say is really very considered and very powerful, individual, very affecting. It's the kind of things that you feel privileged to hear, that kind of the words that make the air hum. And so that enables people to connect really quickly and establish bonds. And so it's remarkable, really. There's nothing quite like it. The spread of Death Cafe indicates that people are really keen to talk about death. And even more than that, I think they're keen to talk about death now because of, of the time we're in. I think we're in a time of great instability, economic instability and sort of environmental degradation. People are asking questions about what's a positive path forward for the world. And I think coming to focus on death and some of the fundamentals of who we are has the potential to sort of assist that process. Thinking about death and dying has helped me personally in a lot of, a lot of ways. You don't know when the last moment's gonna come. You don't know when it's the last time you're gonna do something, usually. You don't know, you know, it's the last time you're gonna see that person or, you know, get to hold them, kiss them, hug them. It might be, and one time it will be, because, you know, there's a limited number of opportunities to do that. So thinking about death sort of helps me to take them.